favorite. Oh, excuse me. Can I help you? <laughs> well, there's uh, no one else around here, so I'm gonna ask again nicely. Can I help you? I suggest you answer with a little bit of respect before I get my boy Bobby to take out the trash. Oh, forgive me, forgive me. Listen, it's the glasses. I haven't cleaned my glasses. It's great to see such a loyal customer in here. Listen, I can tell by the haircut, by the shave, by how clean you look right now. My brother helped you out, huh? My brother Rico. Over down the road, Rico's razors, huh? Forgive me. I'm Tony. Tony the Taylor. No. Not Tony the Tiger, okay? He's got nothing on me. Tony the Taylor. Yeah, yeah, this is my shop. <laughs> I've owned it for years. Okay, it's been a while. My brother handles that end of the city, cuts hair, make him feel fresh. You come over to me, I give you a nice suit, make you feel fresh. Hmm? <laughs> Look at me, talking like a big stuffed parmesan. How about I get you going on what you need? What are you looking for today, huh? Nice suit. Mm, I see, I see. Yeah, if you don't mind, this is a beautiful suit. Looks great. Looks perfect on you. <laughs> However, I noticed you went to church today. Hmm? What are you talking about? Oh, I know that. Come on. You got a hole in your shirt. You're looking a little holy. <laughs> Bobby. Bobby, I told him the holy joke. Listen, how about I help you out, okay? I'll give you a slim fit look right here in my shop. Tailor the suit for you. Patch up the hole at a discounted price, huh? Perfect, perfect. Any friend of Rico's is a friend of mine. So, uh, how long ago have you, uh, seen Rico? gonna do some measurements here, don't worry. It's been a while. Yeah, he's been handling some business around town. Oh, you know, just some family business. Him and I own a lot of uh, real estate here in the city. You can call it that bunch of different businesses and properties. We oversee the majority of them. 10, 8, 10, 9, 11, 12, 13 inches. Okay, good, good, good. Nothing too shabby. Him and I have uh, been working in this town for a while. We uh, oversee a video game store down the road. Let's see, uh, his barber shop, of course. There's the, uh, the restaurant. It's a nice one. That one brings in a lot of money. Dorcia. You heard of it? It's a great place. You should go there. I'm personal friends with Chef Pablo. <laughs> you tell him Tony sent you and he's gonna get you a big old bowl of cornflakes. Okay? You're not gonna want that. You ask for the Rico special. I'll get you something good. 42. 14. Okay. Now their Italian food is to die for. I know, I've been there plenty of times. What about you, huh? Let me get your waist there. Okay. Yeah, what kind of business are you in? Alright, Finance, property management too. 
really. Let's see. Bobby, do you mind uh, canceling all my appointments for the rest of the night? I want to make sure all my attention, love, care goes into this very special customer. Yep. Appreciate it, Bobby. So, uh, while I finish up your measurements here, what properties do you own in this city, huh? The police station. I thought those were government owned. You got in? Oh, okay. Top secret, uh, you know. CIA agent I got in my shop right now. You can't talk too much about your job. I get it. I get it. I can't do the same. Oh, it's been... It's been a hoot working here, okay? But the fact that you know the police station, you're... You're in with them? Is that what it is? Nice. Nice, very good. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna put some pins in you now, okay? Oh, don't worry. Uh, each pin is representative of something. Well, Think of it like each one of these pins is one of my loose ends that were uh, tied up. They're very sharp, so you gotta be careful. But I'm curious. Stay still. I'm curious. Uh, you know any of the officers over there at the station? Good friends with a couple of them. Okay, nice. Let me just put this in here. All right. Okay. I just don't wanna, don't wanna jab you. You know. Good, good, good. What about that one officer? What was his name? Officer Gonzalez Martinez. Officer Gutierrez. That's the one I'm talking about. You know him? Really? Really? Okay. That's good. That's good. Any friend of his is a friend of mine. Oh, I, I wouldn't think he knows me personally. I would just say he, uh, his daughter goes to the same school as my kid. So, I was thinking maybe, you know, we can set up a play date. Yeah, have the little rascals run around while us men do uh, our big boy talk. Mm-hmm. Nah, no, it's nothing to worry about for him. I can invite him over to my place. It's a nice place. Business has been booming recently. Oh, yeah. Same thing for Rico, too. So you got this guy's, uh, cell number? You know where I can find him? Mm. <laughs> I get it, most police officers, they don't, you know, put out their info so easily. But this guy... I heard he doesn't play games. He doesn't go by the rule book. <laughs> so I, uh... I just want to maybe have a chat with them, you know? Nah, nah, nothing personal. Nothing personal at all. Oh, did I nick you there? Sorry about that here. All right, just clean that up. There you go. Okay. You see him again. Tell him to stop on by. I'll clean up that suit for him, huh? Oh, yeah. 
I'm here to help in any way I can to serve my community that I've been a part of for so long. Here. You're all pinned up. I'm gonna make some cuts here, okay? What do you mean, white pink? Pink's my favorite color. <laughs> what do you think, because I'm a big, strong man, I can't like the color pink? Huh. What do you want it to be, huh? Blood red? Shadow black? Denim blue? Manly maroon? What, what do you, what do you want about? It's pink. Love that color. Hold still. Sorry. My daughter got me this set, okay? Thought I would, uh, do what I can to make use of it. Officer, hothead. You enjoy what you do. You do? Okay. Yeah. Just maybe it'd be in our, both of our best interest to come together, you know? I don't know. Uh, come up with some type of agreement. You don't touch my properties, I don't touch yours. You don't come after my clients, I don't come after yours. <laughs> exactly. I don't know why an interaction like this can't be beneficial for the both of us. Hmm? Simple. Easy. Well, uh... Other than the police station, do you own anything else? Get out of here. That's you up on the hill? Oh, that's a fancy place. Yeah, yeah, no, I drive by it every now and then. I'm, I'm just down the road. It's a nice neighborhood. You must be pulling in some big bucks where you're at, huh? Can't imagine that. Publicly funded office making a profit, though. You know, being as you're supplied by the taxpayer's money. Big house like that can uh, soon get taken away if you get caught doing something wrong. Oh, I don't know. Embezzling, money laundering, falsifying tax forms, the usual. Yeah, yeah, I know a lot about the law. It, uh, wasn't my friend a while ago. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a changed man now. Like I said, took up this shop. Uh, had a couple little kids, a couple meatballs running around the house. I had to give up that life. I wanted something better. Something that'll help, uh, <laughs> make me an honest living. What even is that anymore, huh? An honest living. Okay. Hold still for me. Just gonna... you up with a special discount just because I know who you are now <laughs> I know we are capable of and I know that we just made a friendship today so here's what I'm gonna do for you okay you're all patched up your suits nice and tailored put together like that okay because I work fast 
an express service in here and I give my clients the best they can get. Best in town. But on top of that, I'm going to be providing you with a little bit extra. Okay? Oh. Stop it. I am going to present to you this solid gold belt. Okay? Genuine leather. Gold as far as the eye can see. This thing, this papa right here, sent me back thousands of dollars. Okay? Will you kindly accept this gift? Good, good. Put that right there for you. It's gonna match perfectly with this wonderful fitting suit now. But the second most important part of putting together a nice classy outfit is what? The shoes. I picked these shoes up off a of body I don't off of a friend I know. Still got some scuffs on it, maybe some blood, but hey, what are you gonna do? The real world is a tough place to be, right? This, can you hear that? This is the top of the line, okay? Send me back a couple thousand as well, but for you, free. Well, I'm not playing around here. Make sure they fit. Put these on, huh? I just want to make sure that you live here happy and you understand the deal we're making. Huh? I'm not done. Okay? Save the best for last. Are you familiar with the... those uh, high brands? Gucci. Versace, Burberry, Louis Vuitton, Prada, all those big high and mighty brands. Versace's always been my favorite. Something special comes from their designs, their looks, the colors, the scents. This right here is Dylan Blue by Versace, okay? Still got a good amount in this vial, and it's all yours. Each spray sets you back about $500. This is a $30,000 cologne, right here. Take a sniff, because before you know it, you're bankrupt. Oh. If you don't take this, I will. No, 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 no. It's no biggie, okay? Hold on to that. And like I said, you just understand where I'm coming from. You uh, leave my brother and my businesses alone, keep your little officer on his leash, and we'll be fine. No, I don't have anything to hide. Other than you, if you don't complete this deal, if you don't withhold your side of this negotiation, okay? You got yourself a free tailored suit, some beautiful goodies straight from your friend Tony. That's how I want you to remember me. Your friend, Tony. Is there anything else I can do for you today? Okay, good, good. Well, take your gifts and this wonderful suit and you have yourself a great day. <laughs> Don't forget to smile because that's how I know who's my friend and who isn't. The smile. <laughs> have a good one now. Get out of here. See you next time. Rico, I think we got a problem. <laughs>